Now, a lot of folks said that they want to get out of their job. So let's talk about the benefits of a job. Before we talk about the negatives and try to make it doom and gloom, well, you know, what are the benefits of having a job and employment? And I will, I have some. There are benefits, uh, folks. So I'll, I'll pass it to anyone who's, who's willing to speak. I'll, I'll say this because I, I have been very passionate about this area. I worked at Quiznos for four years, okay? And, and, and it wasn't <laughs> a pretty four years. And I'm not going to put the owner on blast, but he paid us some personal checks sometimes. You ain't supposed to do that. That's illegal. Uh, he would turn the AC off, and he would say it's broke. And then I would go find the key and turn it on. And it'd be like, really? So it works? You just didn't want to pay your bill? Okay. So that was the environment that I was in, and I had to quickly learn that the jobs are there for a specific reason, and they're not always there for us to be in love with them, right? But then that's sort of the common thread with life. There's a lot of things you're going to have to do to get where you want. It's going to put you in some very uncomfortable environments. Growth requires some uncomfortable things to happen, right? When your shoes get too tight, you I mean you, you outgrowing your shoes, you gotta get some new shoes, you know? And, and, and I don't say that to say that you need to get a new job. What, I, what, what happened was when I was in that environment, what I quickly started to realize was that if I can look at this as some sort of positive, if I can find the positive in this, the fact that I'm able to pay my bills on time, the fact that I can pay my car note, I started seeing this job as less of a job and more of an angel investor. They didn't know that. Right. They just wrote my name on a check and I took that check. But when I looked at that and I said, you know what, this is my angel investor. You know, for those that are not familiar, you know, angel investors, obviously somebody that they're, you know, they, they consider an angel investor because they're investing into your particular business idea. Quiznos had no idea that I was buying speakers from Walmart for my studio setup. They had no idea that I was buying, you know, uh, an updated Dell uh, Tower PC because I wasn't working with a laptop at that time. If you can look at your job and go in there with the attitude of, this is gonna suck, but this is my angel investor. And if I don't get past this stage, I will never get to that heavenly stage. You know, I was listening to Les Brown the other day and one thing he said is that, you know, the reason why we go to jobs that we hate and we, we kick it around people that don't necessarily like us or even like what we're doing is because, Known hells are better than unknown heavens. In this scenario, you know what this is, but look at it as if it's still your temp job, no matter what job it is. I don't care how great it's paying. If it's not fulfilling you and making you happy, it's a temporary situation, but it's a necessity. You have to do this. I had to work that four years, so when I walked away, I said I'd never be back. And, and that literally became my gas and my fuel. And your gas and fuel is going to always be your why. Why are you doing what you're doing? Why do you want to become a producer? Why do you want to become an artist? That why will be the fuel to get you through any obstacle that comes your way. And I agree with gaming that you got to look at your job as less of an obstacle and more as a means to get to where you need to get. And so I'm thankful. The only thing I, I'm, I'm not thankful for myself is the fact that I didn't save at least 10% from every check. And stash that away, you know, when I decided to take that leap into entrepreneurship. But I'm hopefully can spread that to you. If you're at a job right now, take 10% of that and just put that into your dream fund. Put that in something that you know I'm not going to touch that money. That money's not going to nothing else except for the growth of this business, the growth of, you know, whatever you're trying to build. But if you go in there with that mentality, it'll change the way I was dealing with customers that I had a show one time where I was I performed in front of 10,000 people. I was backing up somebody else and the first argument I had when I went to work was about tomatoes and onions. Come back to life, son. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I needed, that, I needed that humbling experience for me to look at that and say, okay, it's my angel investor. I'm not going to hate on you, you know, but you are temporary. You know, but I need to have something that is my extra why that fuels me every single day when I was at that job. And you know what that was? For me, it was knowing this money is going to give me more equipment. Upgrades of the equipment is going to help me mirror my music more. So it's the best way I know to address that.